Hello, Izumi here with the Jormungand 8 star multi solo. First off, I'm going with Scald as my tank just because she has a lot of light resistance. Using a lot of uh, dark gear on her. And then Sangrid, just like I said before, I'll use her every chance I get. Basically, for this fight, you want a lot of airborne characters anyway. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is why I like using Sangrid. And then the dark element damage up really helps because then every character who uses dark hits harder. That Now we're going with um, Ymir. A lot more dark gear. Then Hell. Ooh, that costume's only a level 28. I forgot about that. Even at level 28, it's got decent stats. And then Fairy Senia. And also, the um, Airborne Killer is an amazing passive. But it only goes on your three with the highest magic attack. So that's going to be her. Hell and Ymir. So here we go with the fight. Okay, so Sky Whale Jormungand. Uh, he counts as a beast and is airborne. Um, as far as racial restrictions go on this fight, it doesn't matter. What matters is not using characters that are grounded. Grounded heroes are affected by the fear status effect. Um, Yorm also has gravity field on 8 star on the 2nd and 3rd HP bars. On 7 star there is a holy field and on 8 star there is high holy field. The most effective element against Yorm is going to be earth. But you're going to need to do quite a bit of dark damage to be able to crush the crystals. But it is entirely possible to kill Yorm by ignoring the crystals if you would want, if you want to. But most of the time, you're going to end up doing it by accident anyway. Um, the front row of crystals inflicts fear to your frontmost hero if they are grounded. The back set of crystals does light damage to do to two random heroes, as well as bonus damage to grounded. They uh, also are the ones that generate the high holy field and the regular holy field. So basically, you're going to want to use a lot of dark AoE damage to get rid of the crystals. And then hit Yorm with a lot of earth damage. But chances are, it's better off just to gonna be go with dark, all dark, everything. Especially the way that I'm doing it with Sangrid, making all dark attacks do more damage, and then with Senia boosting all damage to airborne anyway, it makes this fight kind of really easy. And Ymir is really good because um, ig ignore barriers on everything. And I just... I have no real reason to use Hell other than she's Dark Aesir and Magic based. Which is why I used Senia because it's, her skill kind of synergizes with two other mages. so Or her passive I should say. I'm just rambling because I ran out of stuff to say. So there wasn't, there's not a whole lot to this fight. So here we go, one more good hit. And let's see what the total damage, you can get an idea of how much health they have. We got a ring. And there you go. Day.